Hello everyone. In this video I would like to show you how you can use EasySky. I will explain the basic functionality and how you can set up your Sky easily without having to go through all of the properties. So let's get started right away. If you haven't done so yet, then please follow one of the other videos where I explain how you can add EasySky to your level. Uh, I'm using the same level as I did for the other preview videos, uh, but I'm going to go through some of the major properties that are being used for EasySky. First things, most of the properties that are very important are in basic settings. We have a cycle speed day and we have a cycle speed night. And those are the two properties that determine the speed of the day-night cycle. 30 seconds means it will take 30 seconds for a complete 24 hour cycle. That means that if the day is from uh, 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening, that the day will take 15 seconds. And right now the night will also take 15 seconds. Add those two and you get the 30 seconds. You can change either one of them. So you could leave them both at the same property, but you could also say, okay, I want the night to speed up very much. So I want to have that 10 seconds, but then the day in 30 seconds. Now, if we play, we can play by just simulating the game. We will see that it takes 30 seconds for the sun to go down. And then once it becomes night, it will only take 10 seconds. You can also see that the time really speeds up on the corner here. And then once we get daylight again, it will go back to the 30 seconds speed up. The starting time is regulated over here. It says start time, 12 o'clock. This is in hours, so 12 means in the afternoon. Um, you can go to 24, then you are uh, at midnight, but you can even extend on that. It doesn't stop at 24. This means that already one day has passed and we are 10 hours ahead of that. There is also a start date, and that date, well, most of the things it's doing right now is it will uh, show you in the widget once you hit play. You can now see that it's the 2nd of June, 2021. Um, but that's not the only thing it does. It also controls the temperature. I'm explaining a little bit more about the temperature in the uh, tutorial about snow and temperature. Uh, but the month has an effect on what the minimum and maximum temperature would be at that time of the year. Now Easy Sky has a couple of weather scenarios. And weather scenarios are what drives Easy Sky. The basic settings are more about the speed of the sky and the size of the sky. But everything related to visuals is mostly found under weather scenarios. The first thing, the first property would be this, the weather scenario that you have selected right now. At this point it's clear sky, but I can set it to medium clouded and then I see some clouds in the sky. I can also go to rain and then it will start to rain. This particular weather scenario is quite foggy, I think the medium rain is less foggy. Um, but all of the parameters you can change those inside those specific weather scenarios. So let's get back to the heavy rain. I think this is way too foggy. So if we would like to change that, then we need to go into the heavy rain weather scenario. Go to the fog day because we're at daylight. And then we can change the density of the fog day. Now, because it's raining, there is another rain that takes uh, into play. And that is the rain day, there is a rain fog density. That is the extra fog that is being applied on top of the rain. I'm explaining a little bit more about this in the rain tutorial. So if you haven't done so, then take a look at that. Uh, we can change that to our likings. And as soon as we have something that we're happy with, um, we can keep this. And then whenever it now chooses the heavy rain scenario, it will pick these settings that we see over here. The system dynamically toggles between them um, at a random time interval. That time interval can be checked under weather. There is a min-max weather scenario delay, a uh, change delay. It's now set to 10 to 300. Those are in minutes. So it's a minimum of 10 minutes that it's going to wait before it changes to the next one. 
and there's a maximum of 300 minutes um, that it will wait before it picks another one. If we hit play, we can see that it's actually working. So right now we are in the heavy rain weather scenario. Now to make this uh, a little bit easier to see, I'm going to add the dynamic weather debug visuals. I'm going to clear the log, hit play, and you will notice that in the log it will actually say, okay, it's now heavy rain. Um, and we're going to blend to the clouded weather scenario. The transition is now complete, so we are now in the clouded weather scenario. And at a certain point it will say, okay, I'm now going to blend to another one. And that's what it's doing right now. It's going to heavy rain again. And once the transition is complete, which is right now, it will be another delay and it will blend to another one after that and so on and so on. You can also see that the fog of the heavy rain during the night time is still way too dark. Uh, so we might want to change that for this particular level. So we're now going to medium clouded. So the debug is a very good way to figure out what your level is actually doing, where it's blending to, and there are different types of debugs that you can print out. I'm now printing the dynamic weather, but there is also info about networking, just general info, uh, show the time or temperature.